other family and friends, welcome to the Woke Nation, our nation of factual truth. Here we feel free to share knowledge and spread the knowledge of factual truth without fear, without favor, and without pain. Where we encourage us to live our lives and live it well through the knowledge of factual truth because it is our life. And personally, I encourage you to enjoy your life. Of course, it's yours. You owe nobody. You owe no one in your life. Don't let anyone tell you the bullshit that, oh, your life depended on someone else, maybe because they are your parents or because they are your whatever. I don't know what they did for you. But remember, you have your own life to live, which you have to, okay? Don't let anyone mm, talk you into doing what they want or living how they want when it's not benefiting you. Because you cannot walk in other people's paths and be beneficial to you. It can never be. They are using you. And when they're done using you, guess what? They're going to let you go. That's how it, it goes. That's what happens. That's why you see some people say, Oh, he disappointed me. He broke my heart. He did this, did that. No. Because you let them. And the most time is because you believe them. They told you if you don't believe, you will not be established. Fuck that. I don't need to, be, to believe to be established. I am established now without believing. Don't believe in any bullshit. If you don't believe them, you will not become their slave. They won't control you because naturally no one can control you. Anything that has to do with control is anti-nature, is slavery. And you need to bag it from it, run away from it, flee from it. Live your life humanly. There is no life better than it human life there is no life greater than human life any other thing any other person is saying is what they made of it at least your life for those that say they believe in god god is doing god with them look at their life there's no god doing anything for them they are actually the one doing things but out of fear and ignorance they begin to lie to themselves and want others to agree with them i completely totally 100% perfectly disagree with them. No God can do anything to or for you. Okay. Ahere and uh, Amadi, you're welcome. So today I'm sharing on what I titled empty vessels, empty cans, empty barrels. You know, they say that empty vessels make the most noise. Empty vessels make the most noise. They disturb you with their noise. You hear them do morning cry, you hear them preaching on, on television, you hear them preaching on the radio, you hear them making noise everywhere, how powerful their God is, their prayer is, and all that. Yet you see them suffering in reality. They, they have trained themselves or they have conditioned themselves to lie to themselves, to deceive themselves, to comfort themselves in their illusion in their delusion, in their hallucination, and dare not question their God. Dare not doubt their God. Dare not think of rejecting that God. So when they see or hear people like myself that have rejected that God, whatever faith they have in, they be like, oh, that person, it must be devil incarnate. Demo, devil is in him, blah, 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 blah. So, when you hear somebody telling you there is God, there is Jesus, there is heaven, there is hell, that person is making noise, empty noise. That noise cannot even move a dust. So, that is it's a lie. When they tell you there is the word of God, there is um, anointing, there is presence of God somewhere, there is miracle happening anywhere, they are making empty noise. So empty vessels make the most noise. So I will start with the prophets. 
Mm. I wanted to know that there's no such thing as prophet. It doesn't exist. It's in just what people made up and they use it robbing people, deceiving people. But you say there's prophecy. What is prophecy? Statement. You can make your own statement. I can make my own statement. So why do you expect me to believe someone else's statement against mine? And that person don't believe mine. In, in life, when, when you have anything to do with anybody, it's supposed to be mutual. If you say you have to bow to somebody, that somebody is supposed to also bow to you. If they don't want to bow to you, but they want you to bow to them, get away from them. It's supposed to be mutual. I respect you, respect me. I bow before you, bow before me. But if it's you standing, then I have to bow. That means I'm a slave to you. That means I am inhuman to you. I'm not behaving like human beings. So because in, in humanity, we have balance. And one standing up and one bowing, bowing is not balanced. But we have been miseducated. We have been, we have been corrupted. Our brain has been, uh, has been corroded by the religious leaders, by the, by the um, leaders in our different communities or society. You know, we think, oh, no, that's the way it's supposed to be. No, it's not the way it's supposed to be. You bowing to someone else. Imagine you, even you are a father or you are a mother, you are bowing to someone who is maybe of the same age with your children. Or you know you have children and you're bowing to someone else. How do you expect those children to respect you? Think many times the things you're claiming is the dem is devil or, de or demon somewhere operating is actually you you are the one that caused that fire or put on that fire that is burning you in your own family mm -hmm. you know the soldier ant right it's when it's in your in within you that's when yeah within between you and your clothes that's when it's it, it, going everywhere in your body um, and it's stinging you you come you blaming your neighbor or someone else that's your business but at least shake it off so you free yourself. And that's what I'm trying to do, to provoke our people to think for themselves. They begin to shake off this ant of politics, ant of religion, ant of spirituality that has been biting us without giving us any comfort or rest. Okay, so welcome to Bible study also. Jeremiah chapter 6, I'll start with that, about this prophet about these ministers of God, about these people of God. Because from the least of them, even to the greatest of them, everyone is given to covetousness. Whether they are preaching prosperity, salvation, deliverance, whatever righteousness they claim, oh no, we are not after the things of this world. Oh no, heaven is my goal, heaven is my home. From the least of them, even to the greatest of them, everyone, is given to greed. Everyone is given to covetousness. Everyone is given to worldliness. And from the prophet, even to the priest, everyone deals falsely. Every priest is a false, is a false person. Every prophet is a false person. Because in reality, there is no such thing as prophet. Just like there's no such thing as Christ. Just like there's no such thing as God. So from the prophet, even to the priest, everyone deals falsely, including your priest, including your prophet, including that you are man of God or woman of God. All of them are dealing falsely. They will not tell you the truth because the moment they open their mouth and tell you the truth, you will stop going to them. Verse 14. They have also healed the heart of my people slightly. There is no miracle healing. There is no divine healing. But they tell you, no, you are healed in Jesus' name. God has healed you. Allah, blah, 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 blah. You are healed. It's a lie. They have healed the heart of my people slightly saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace. Saying, God, God, when there is no God. Saying, healing, healing, when there is no healing. Saying heaven, heaven, when there is no heaven. They say all manner of things when such thing does not exist. And they can never happen. Because they are empty vessels. 
they claim to be vessels unto honor, and they say there's other vessels that are not unto honor. They are evil. And whatever they are saying, they are dealing falsely. They are not saying the truth. And that's why the crowd is magnetized to them, because the crowd are like the ants. Wherever you spray sugar, they go there. That's where you see them. You can't see them where the real thing is, where the truth is. You always see them where lies are exalted or promoted. And you know the best place it happens. It's called religious centers, church, mosque, temple, synagogue, shrine. And all those places people go. That's where they deal with them falsely. If you read also like uh, Jeremiah 8, 11 is there also. Let me read it also. Jeremiah chapter 8. Mm -hmm. You know, they keep repeating certain words because that's uh, how work of fiction works. Okay? Hear what he said, verse 8. He said, how can you say, mm, no, verse um, 11, sorry, chapter 8, verse 11. He said, for they have healed, or uh, in sentence like 10 and 11, is the same thing repeating, just as they repeated the uh, Psalm chapter 1, uh, chapter 14, verse 1, and the Psalm chapter 53, verse 1, saying the same bullshit. He said, therefore, I will give their wife to others. Mm -hmm, that's God. I like that. God, give me their wives. Send their wife to me so that I can have them. I will give their wife to others and their friends to those who will inherit them. Yeah. Let me hear their fear too. Because from the least even to the greatest, everyone is given to covetousness. From the prophet even to the priest, everyone deals falsely. For they have healed the heart of the daughter of my people slightly. You see, the only thing they added to this one is daughter. He said they have the uh, Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 14 said that they have healed the heart of my people slightly. But this one said they have hid, they have hid the heart of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace. That's what they are. Prophets of God make the most empty noise, empty promises, empty prophecies, empty blessings, empty threats, empty ranks. You see them making up all that, all their messages are empty. Prophesying declaration, oh, I declare, I declare, all of them are empty. They are empty vessels. And they are doing all, the, making all those noise to scare the gullible. They are making all those noise to scare the gullible. So they will, okay, 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 whatever you say, whatever you say, for peace sake, okay, okay, I believe. Look at what is happening in Nigeria as we speak. All of them that prophesy that P2B will be the next president of Nigeria, they are quiet now. They are trying to do some damage control. Whoever they put there, it is God's appointed. And nobody will stop him from going there. <laughs> they are liars. Empty vessels, all of them. I told you last time that the God they have is the government behind them and the anointing they have is the crowd behind them. There is no God uh, anointing they have anywhere. They are empty vessels. All of them. They use the fear of God's wrath and the punishment in hell to keep followers coming. That's why you see a businessman that know that he's in hustling and making his, his money. Yet he's, he's scared. Maybe cause will come or something may happen to his business. So you see him going to all these prophets, you know, pray, pay, giving people money to be praying for them so that bad things will not happen. Fear. They use fear of God's wrath. Oh, if you don't give God tight, your business will go down. If you don't give offering to church, your business will go down. If you don't support man of God, your business will go down. You know how we do that? When I used to be a pastor too, you know how you go to all those people, you know they're, they're making money. You go to their shops, you go to their house. At least you know they will give you nice food and give you money for transportation. And you go to them. They are empty vessels. They use fear to keep you coming. Nobody can make me go to any church or any mosque. Any, you cannot. 
I tell them no devil can make me go to church. When I call my the guy that the guy the Ghana guy that fired my tire, he said on Sunday. He said, go to church. And that was like Sunday mid almost midnight. He, he just, you know, teased me because anything he knows that I, I, I'm no longer doing all those things. And I, I, I say it out loud anywhere. So he's, I say, no devil can make me go to church. No devil can make it. So it's devil that makes people go to go, go, church. Yes. Because God and devil are one. The one, one uh, imaginary entity, one imaginary being, one fairy. That's what they are. So, don't be like these people that are empty vessels. I've seen some people, for example, in Africa, precisely in Igbo land, where I came from, you will see a woman, a, a widow, actually, a widow that have children and not in, in good terms with the family, uh, maybe the, the husband, brothers, or the family members. And she begin to spoil this her children with some words. Oh, that is he's the one that killed your father. He's the one. The reason why we are we are suffering. This one want to get married. It's not working. This one want to do business. It's not working. This one is a drunkard. Blah blah blah. Is that person? He's the one. He do, she don't know, but that's what she believe, and she passes it down to his children, to her children, and her children now we begin to see that man as wicked uncle. Evil uncle, wicked elder, evil elder. Most times, children are suffering because of the nonsense their mother told, the stupid choice their mother made. Because they destroy African family structure. So, what do you expect? Anything goes. They think Africans were stupid to have the structure they had that when a woman comes into a family, it's not like it's just for that one man, you know. That doesn't mean she's sleeping with all of them, no. She's sleeping with one man, but she's a wife to all, she's, she's a daughter to all of them, not even wife. Wife is a slave. And she, she, that family becomes her family. No, oh my, there's no other family she's going, no. That family becomes his family. Her family, she becomes part of it completely. And everybody respects her like that. So, you see, maybe one of, the, of her sons or one of her daughters go confronting the man. Now you already believe that man or you already think that that man is evil. Now you are not fortified. You are going against the man. Our Igbo people say that or right? Or if um, um, if you are not wrapped enough, you know, to ask for what kill your father. He said, what kill your father will kill you. So let's say, okay, the woman is right. And that man, that uncle or that elder is actually evil. So you think now because you are a Christian, you can just go around your mouth in Jesus' name. You know, you cannot do me anything. Okay, go and see many Christians are in hospital. Many of them are in grave because of that silly empty words. Threatening somebody you know, this person is evil. Then you go threatening them with because they brainwash you in the church that you know if you can say things you will come to pass the word of God is in your mind Jesus blah 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 the power of life and death are in the tongue it's a lie life and death is the power of tongue it's a lie the the brainwashing spirituality also believing that if you say things they, they will come to pass it's a lie you have to plan and execute them for them to come to pass nothing comes to pass because you speak them. And that's why they all these evil men, your core prophets of God, keep deceiving you, even the prophetesses. Because you believe what they say will come to pass, they can see for you, they can do, they cannot do anything. They are empty vessels, all of them. So before you go confronting anyone you know this person is evil or this person is responsible for your suffering, make sure you are fortified. You have your weapons, you are fortified in every way so that if he come against you, you will stand. But if not, so if you don't ask what, if you are not man enough to ask what killed your father, the same thing that killed your father will kill you because you choose to be ignorant. Don't be ignorant. Don't die ignorant too. Be knowledgeable begin to know dare to know everything they tell you that person is evil 
get close to that person to find out yourself. Maybe what made him evil? What if your father that tried to kill him first before he succeeded in killing your father first? So think, think, so that you can live your life. That's why I say you are born to live your life. You are not born to live for anyone. Hear this. Another one I want to, another empty things or empty words that people embrace today is blessing and the causes. So I want to talk about them also. I want you to know that blessing and the cause, they are empty words. They have nothing to do in reality or with your reality. You say you're getting married and going for our parents to give us their blessing. That's bullshit. It's empty thing that people do. Oh, they pray over our marriage, blah, blah, blah. All those people you say now that have been divorced or going through divorce, they also believe those nonsense. They went and kneeled and they pray for them, they anointed them, they do all that, they look at what is happening. Because in reality, blessing and the cause is empty world. It cannot change anything, it cannot alter anything in reality. That's why they only it's only the gullible that falls for them. Oh, if you don't get that blessing, it will not work, blah, 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 blah. You see somebody you really want to spend your life with. Oh, because you did not go to my parents or we did not go to your parents. No, 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 no. Discuss with the person. Find out why. There's a reason why he wanted so or she wanted so. Then try to reason. Don't drag somebody into the trap they're running away from. And that's why I see some of you, you drag that person and both of you end up in that trap. It happens. You say, no, it doesn't happen. Okay. Your own experience will tell you soon. So the reason why you see people believing in all this blessing and the cursing is because they tell them there is a God that bless people or curse people or bullshit. They even succeeded in making women believe their childbirth pain is as a result of, of curse that God caused them for causing mankind to fall. Imagine that. If there is anyone that's supposed to be caused for the fall of that mankind, is the one you claim that created them. So he didn't know they will fall. He created 40 things. Are you blaming the creature? No, you're supposed to blame the creator, not the creature. And the creator that cannot fix his creature is useless. I don't see, there's no reason for you to accept God for anything. Because there is nothing God can do for you except they taught you this blessing. Like they tell you, they use it like Genesis chapter 12. Hey, God will call Abraham. He say, leave all your family and blah, 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 blah. You know, I will make you great. I will make you a father of all, blah, 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 blah. And you will be a blessing. Oh, let me be a blessing. No, stop saying that. I will show you blessing. But I like the way Sister um, um, Amechi put it. She said that when you say bless, you know, be less. You don't need it. Why, why are you saying you bless me? No, give me money. He said, bless me. I don't need you to bless me. Bless you for what? That's deceiving you, giving you empty word. And that's what gives you that hope and the hope that will never materialize. You know that. For years, no one has spoken blessing into your life. They come to pass. You have to work for anything to come to pass. They say you cannot travel. Mm -hmm. Get to the motor park or use your leg. You will travel. Their course will not stop you. They say you cannot make it. Mm -hmm. Go to a place where they pay workers work they pay you you will see you make it or begin to till your own land farm and you you reap and the day in the time of harvest their cause can never stop you if they want you to believe it and also like in hebrew chapter 6 verse 14 where he said in blessing i will bless you and all that bullshit it's a lie it cannot bless you it cannot no one can bless you no god can bless you no man can bless you no woman can bless you you don't need blessing you don't need empty word blessing is empty word that's why they try to attach it to everything you are doing just as they try to attach love to your de deeds or to what you do you show somebody some um, some sympathy or human sympathy they say it's, oh it's work of it that's love that's love in action no it's not it's not love. Love is different. Love is fake feeling. It has nothing to do with reality. That's why those that build on love end up regretting it, crying at last, because that's what happens naturally when you follow those empty things. In blessing, no God will bless you. In cursing, no God will curse you. 
So when you say I am blessed, look at especially it's mostly black people that use this nonsense because that the one they design this spirituality and religion for. They say when you say I am blessed, you are saying I am empty. That's what you're saying. When you say I am blessed, no, you are saying you are empty because blessing is empty word. It has nothing to it, it cannot hang on your body for anything or for any long. You have to know when you say that you are putting yourself down. And that's why you see them crying out. Somebody that said they are blessed, they still go, bless me, Lord. Bless me, oh Lord, please. Please even I but you say you are blessed. If you are blessed, why are you praying and crying again? Asking for something. If you are blessed, if truly blessing is real, then why are you still crying for help in prayers? Even if it's for others, it's the same thing. Whether you say you are blessed and you see others say you're praying for them. No. Okay, the same way you say God has blessed you. Okay, be a blessing to them now. Genesis chapter 12 verse 2. He say you will be a blessing and the blessing he will bless you. Then why are you you see those problems around you, you're going now crying, oh God, oh God. Because you are a pretender and you must keep pretending to appear to make sense, but you are not. The wise already know who you are and what you can do. So that's why you see crying in vain. Oh Lord, help me. Oh, bless me. Oh Lord, bless me. But you say you are blessed. If you're blessed, why continue crying? If God cares about you, why are you praying? Think. Think. As I said, no God is able to bless or curse me because fake cannot bless and curse real. I am real. God is fake. Do you hear that? That's why I say I'm above God. I'm not happy that our people are seeing like mostly the Africans who so much love Jesus or love the God of Israel. Can't you hear what is going on now? The lawmakers, God is not a law, the lawgiver. No, the lawmakers in Israel are pushing for bill that will bring some prison sentence to anyone that preach Jesus Christ or begin to talk about spirituality. No, they know those things are bullshit. It is only Africans, most Afri mostly Africans, that still believe they got this, got that. And that's why they are noisemakers everywhere in the world. Africans are noisemakers. They are empty vessels. They, white people look at them and laugh. You are making noise. What will you do? Nothing. You see how they take out Gaddafi? Gaddafi was making empty noise. Yeah, 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 yeah. With AK-47, they take him out. They look at the people like um, uh, Putin. They can't take him out like that. You see Osama Bin Laden, see? They didn't take him out like that. <laughs> because they know these wars are serious. They can bomb things. They can blow things up. So it's not people that are just making my baba in Jesus' name. God will deal with you. You see how God will deal. The nemesis we got a quit nemesis. Uh, karma is coming. Quit karma. It's not coming. In. It's only for the poor. It's only for blacks, for Africans. That's why our people, black people, are lost in spirituality and religion. They have to get out from that force. So they begin to use their brain again to be what they used to be, which is builders, wise builders. So understand that God has mouth as I do, but God cannot speak as I do. God have eyes as I do, but God cannot see as I do. God have hands as I do, God cannot handle anything as I do. God have legs as I do, but God cannot walk as I do. Think about that. Whatever they tell you about God is lie. God is not like you. You are not God. You are above God. Human being is above God. Any human being that believe or fear God have mental problem. You need to be cured. How about my brethren, the Igbo people in Nigeria? Nigeria government, all of them see the Igbos as noisemakers. Yeah, you, you throw money around, you think money make you have some some value. No, if this show how stupid you are, you can throw around this money. Yet you are marginalizing Nigeria. You are suffering Nigeria. You don't know how to throw this money for your freedom, but you throw it for party to intimidate your neighbors or your, your siblings or intimidate your 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 community people. 
I've made that money now. I will show you. Oh God, bless me. Give me money so that I can build a house for my wife, for my for my mother or for my parents. Oh God. And you see them believe the Lord. Oh, I'm making it because I prayed, and God is blessing me to build a house for my parents. So even when he's struggling, he still build it. And after that, he starts suffering. He says, "What is going on?" Okay, yeah, because the time is supposed to take care of himself. He used to work to build those things. Now those people he built it for are enjoying it, but he's sick now because he tortured himself for them. Don't you see how they see you as empty vessels in Nigeria? You can make all the noise all you want with all your prophets and prophetesses prophesying all the nonsense to you and you're claiming, yeah, you're going to be different this time. Mathematics is the secret. Think, one plus one equals two. It can never be one. No matter how they try to teach you in spirituality or religion that one plus one equals to one. It's a lie. It's two. That's common sense. And no force is greater than common sense. Understand that. That's why when you go with common sense, they cannot bless you. They cannot cause you. I tell them, take my picture, take my name, give it to any native doctor. They will tell you, leave that guy alone. Because they will see who I am. And I'm not hiding it from anyone. I am, that's me. I am real. I am not fake. I'm not living by faith. I'm living by sight, which is knowledge. So I use my brain. How about politicians? Politicians and religious leaders see the masses as empty vessels, empty cans, empty barrels. What will they do? Mas masses carry some play cards and uh, and the stick. We no agree. We no agree. Enough is enough. Blah blah. They know you cannot do anything. You are not even like, especially you are not like um, Muslim-dominated area like Egypt. There are the people when they say something, they stand there and they happen. But in like places in like uh, Nigeria. They already divided them. They have partly Muslim, partly Christian. So they are confused, making confused noise, all of them. So they see them as empty vessels. And that's why they can make all the noise. They still do what they plan to do. And you cannot stop them. Maybe they give you a little bit okay, you, you, you go back. Okay, let's see, we work. No, it's not. Blessings and curses from your parents. And the elders are empty walls that doesn't that does nothing in reality, and they cannot do anything to you or for you in reality. Begin to use your brain, my people. Please, fear is what makes the gullible people believe the the, the prophecies or those lies or those blessings and the cousins. I want you to fear no more, so you can free yourself. Fear no more. Yeah, fear comes to everyone, but. That's one of the reasons why we are making this type of video. To make you to fear no more, so you can free yourself. Without fear, you are free. But with fear, you are not free. You can never be free. You can claim it, you can sing it, you can dance it, you can shout it, but you are just an empty vessel because at the sound of pop, you're wrong. One little thing, you're wrong. Even a little nightmare, <laughs> you're wrong. Say, no, what I saw in my dream, ah! You never try that. So I'm calling on us Africans. Let us trash every belief, every belief system. Anything that has to do with belief, trash it. You need to see. You need to know. Deal with knowledge. Let us not make the same mistake our ancestors made. When they, when they were forced, though, they were forced to shift from science to spirituality. And they begin to talk about after death, after life, death, this, death, that. Life and death are supposed to be going together. Anytime you're talking about life, you're talking about death. We are giving birth, we are going to die too. That's it's simple. It's something you're supposed to know so that you can live humanly. You can do it. I can do it. And we can do it without fear of any God or prophets or prophecies of God. Let us live humanly and enjoy our lives again. God in.